Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Monday, November 11th, 2019. I'd like to take a moment of silence and honor of all those who have served this country. Veterans Day is upon us. All right, let's take a look at our solar wind speed sitting right now at 375.3 kilometers per second with a density of 11.1. We have zero sunspots to report today as our sun is blank once again. That's eight days in a row now without sunspots and 235 days without sunspots in 2019. Now let's take a quick look at our SDO in motion as we do have a coronal hole that is beginning to appear um, just below the equatorial region. So this will be more of a southern coronal hole, but we are expecting uh, increased solar winds from this particular uh, coronal hole by November 16th as well. Also won't rule out that we don't have a few large coronal holes lurking around the eastern limb in the near future. Our TCI actually has dropped now. We have been seeing values in the 4.0 ranges and higher and here lately we've noticed we've seen it continue to drop 3.87 now as we've been averaging right around the 4.0 and up area for probably the past two months so starting to see that tci level start to drop once again our kp indices are coming in at a three right now with a 24-hour max of a three and let's go ahead and get you guys updated with your weather report here first let's start over in the uk and you know that one thing is for certain about the weather out here in the uk is that uh you guys get your fair share of rain that is for certain so let's get right to it shall we today today and tonight i should say clearing intervals and showers although some sheltered eastern and southern areas escaping showers frequent and frequent and heavy for some with possible hail and thunder and some with the hill snow so rain on the lower levels, some snows on the hill areas as well, but it sounds icy at least. Uh, and icy patches are possible mainly in Scotland. Gales will affect some Western areas. Now Tuesday, most places seeing some sunshine, but still occasional showers for many of these still possibly heavy and prolonged with a risk of hail and thunder. Coldy and cold and windy gales near the Western coasts. And pretty much for England, Wales on Wednesday through the rest of the week, rain and hill snow will spread east across much of England and Wales on Wednesday, only slowly clearing to the south Thursday. Sunny spells and showers elsewhere, breezy and cold for all. I know it's a very vague uh, outlook for the next few days, but um, it is what we have right here. And this is the best way I could do this as far as covering all of the areas here, Scotland, Ireland, Ireland, and the UK. Uh, we would probably need an hour if we combine the US and the UK weather reports. Who knows, maybe someday in the future we could dedicate uh, a simple show for UK and European weather. Uh, let's take a look at the weather here in the United States. We have a system moving across the Northern Great Lakes right now as we speak. Michigan, Detroit, you're getting your snow showers uh, the accumulation of this snow, though, we're looking at close to a foot in certain areas. And the areas that you see in the bright pink across the Great Lakes edges here, up through upstate New York and through Maine, those areas we're talking about the possibility of snowfalls somewhere in the areas of five to eight and isolated areas picking up at least, at least eight to 12. Now, that being in the very upper part of New York, northern part, northeastern part of New York, there is a, a spot where we do expect at least a foot of snow. Now, one area I will say we need to kind of keep our eye on will be uh, the Buffalo area. Of course, lake effect snows, Cleveland, Ohio, Rochester. Right now, we are slated to see about 8 to 12 inches in certain areas, especially the south towns of Buffalo. You could easily pick up a foot today, no problem. Um, but the heaviest of snow is going to be in northern parts of Maine where they're expecting 12 to 18 and some areas in the upper elevations further north in New York as well. 
Uh, but these storm warnings that we are seeing right now, the winter storm warning along the coast, well, let's just go ahead and zoom in on an area real quick. This is the area that we're focused on as far as where we think we're going to see that five, or I'm sorry, 12 to 18 inches Malone, uh, Saranac Lake, Plattsburgh, uh, Middlebury. Those areas we think have a better chance of picking up the heaviest of the snow in this storm. So by any means, is this storm going to be a historic one or make break any records? But at the same time, it is only November 11th, and we're talking about a foot of snow in parts of the Northeast today. Meanwhile, the majority of the Great Lakes area, Ohio, Pennsylvania, uh, you're going to pick up anywhere from one to three inches. And most areas, like I said, in the Northeast, probably expecting at least a three to five inches of snow on the average. Now, uh, there are some local forecasts because this precipitation right now is mixed and they're not quite sure exactly on the timing on when all of that will be just snow but there are reports that we will see ice tonight as well in certain areas so on top of some areas that could see three to five inches of snow we could get some very small ice accumulations making the roads a little bit more hectic as far as travel goes tonight i don't expect any kind of business closures as a snow of this magnitude for this part of the country this is pretty, uh, you know, this is easy stuff for these guys to handle up here. So just make sure to take a little extra time today if you're traveling in these areas. Make sure you're giving enough space in between vehicles as well. All right, let's take a look at the minimum te temperatures today across the United States. And wow, it is cold, very cold. In fact, we're talking about teens tonight across parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin, North Dakota, and South Dakota. In the Northeast, we're going to get close to the teens, but right around the 20s the majority of the country will be freezing tonight uh the sweet spots right now florida miami florida if you live in miami florida congrats to you you have probably the most comfortable weather in the u.s right now as of november 11th 2019. here's our daytime highs today look at these sharp cold temperatures moving across the united states you can see exactly where along that cold front is also where that snow system is moving through the the great lakes and into the northeast so that top where it's purple and blue that's where we're going to see all the snow anyway in the first place the rest of the country uh looking like fall for the most part winter time temperatures still for the northern plains and the midwest and of course across the south and southwest uh the united states looking rather comfortable today here's a look at our extended forecast so for today we've got patches of freezing precipitation we've got heavy snow near the lakes that's probably going to be thankful to the um, lake effect snows michigan detroit four to eight inches of snow not really i'd say closer to about four to six inches parts of interlocking could get a foot of snow as the heaviest of snow is going to be in the northern parts of michigan and we move into tomorrow that snow is skirting off the east coast now you see the the white which is all snow here in ohio new york pennsylvania uh, parts of canada as well that's not an accumulating snow if anything we're just going to see some light snow showers move across the area uh, this cold front sinks even further into the south as we've got some cold temperatures and i'll, I'll give a full report on that tonight's show uh, mixed precipitation in the northern plains as well and then we get into wednesday and taking a look the great lakes once again wisconsin uh, michigan you guys will be the candidates for snowfall some mixed precept and some ice in nebraska iowa and south dakota by thursday so let's go ahead one more time take a look at the watches and the watch boxes that we have right now again snow across all this area that's in the purple but it's going to be on the lighter side of things where we're going to see the heavier snowfall is going to be near the great lakes Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, Lake Effect Snows will contribute to storm totals as well. And quickly, take a look at the GFS. This is how the forecast is looking right now as we see this storm move through Tuesday morning and most of the day Tuesday. And like I said, it's a fast-moving storm. We get some lingering effects from Lake Effect Snow on Wednesday. And then high pressure will try to settle in and dominate for the rest of the week. Maybe another uh, chance for snow showers again in the northeast by Friday. But all in all, guys, very quiet, quiet weather pattern for this week here in November. I know some meteorologists out there 
we're expecting the possibility of some major snows coming up in the second and third week of November. So that's something that we will get into on tonight's broadcast at 9 p.m. tonight. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us this morning. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum. We hope everyone had a great weekend. And remember, it's Veterans Day. Think of that. We'll talk soon, guys. Do you, Do you like, like the show? show? Give, Give us, us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Want to support us more? more? Share, Share your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become, or become a Patreon. Patreon. All, All links are in the, in the description, description below. below.